Since we met last um, from our engagement party, we have been working on a lot of different things, but um, I think right now where we stand is um, for catering, we're looking at a lot of different options as far as proposals from um, different caterers just to see, um, to get proposals to see um, our options. And that goes with floral as well. Um, Bering Ridge is beautiful here, so we know that we won't have to spend as much on florals um, and we can use that money for other reasons. So we are planning to have the wedding ceremony and reception here at Barren Ridge Vineyards and we are hoping for a um, nice weather day um, so we can actually have the wedding outside but um, we have rented the whole facility so we are able to move it indoors if we need to. Um, as far as food, as I mentioned, we're still looking at our options but we know that we'll be doing um, food stations instead of having the traditional buffet or um, plated meals set down um, and we just think that it's, it's really casual for our, all of our guests and friends and family um, we just want everyone to congregate around and be we just yeah be very comfortable um, and it's also convenient and that's one reason that we did decide to choose Bering Ridge because we can right after the wedding everyone can just walk and enjoy the food you don't have to drive anywhere like she said we are renting out the whole building so the top floor, that's the dance reception hall, and then down here is a nice bar, an outdoor fireplace, and an in, indoor fireplace. So hopefully we'll have a little uh, fireplace. In that uh -huh. And do so, some uh, s'mores. Uh, <laughs> Roast s'mores. Um, but in the guests, or I mean, excuse me, the um, owners and all the staff here at Barron Ridge have been really gracious to us. We're able to walk into the tasting rooms, or actually where they make the wine, and all of our guests will be able to do that as well. So.